Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Instant Japanese Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to cook Tamasen. Most of you probably don't really know what it is. Although it's not the famous, it's a very delicious street food from my hometown of Nagoya. I used to have it when I was a kid. I made it recently on a camping trip. My friends loved it so much. So I wanted to share that recipe with you all. Let's get started. I'll use these rice crackers from Mitsuwa, an Asian grocery store here in LA. But it might be difficult for some people to find them, so I'll tell you about an alternative later in the video. First, divide this big rice cracker in half. It's easy to use a spatula. Then add oil in the pan with medium heat. And crack an egg. Break the egg yolk with your spatula and mix it with the egg white just a little. Then fold the egg to fit on the rice cracker. I like adding some cheese on it, but it's optional. Then flip the fried egg and cook both sides. You can turn off the heat once you flip the egg, but it's still cooking with the remaining heat. Once it's cooked, Take it out of the pan and place it on the rice cracker. Add some okonomiyaki sauce. We usually use this sauce for Japanese dinner pancake called okonomiyaki. And you can get it on Amazon or at Asian grocery stores. Or you can make a similar sauce by yourself. And I left the recipe in the description box. Then add some mayonnaise. I use Japanese mayo but you can use American mayo too. Then place the other side of the rice cracker and it's done! It's easier to eat it if you wrap the end part with foil and it makes it seem more like street food. Now, time to eat! Kanpai! It's super easy to cook, and it tastes like a crispy snack version of okonomiyaki. Crispy crunch outside, while the inside is creamy with the egg, cheese, and mayo. The okonomiyaki sauce brings all the flavors together in every bite. I love this snack so much, and it makes me miss my hometown. So if you can find the rice cracker I used, try it with this western rice cake. They are quite thick, so just use one cake per egg and toast it. Also please buy the salted version, but if you have the unsalted version, add a pinch of salt before toasting. Then you can have the tasty okonomiyaki snack very quickly and easily. Hope you liked my recipe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you again. Mata ne.